Apple says the M1 Ultra Max Studio is capable of playing 18 streams of 8K ProRes footage simultaneously. While that sounds really cool, I wanted to see how insane that looks. So here's a maxed out M1 Ultra Max Studio and 18 DCI 8K ProRes 422 clips, each with a resolution of 8192 by 4320. Now painstakingly, I scaled all these clips to fit a single 8K timeline, and it was time to witness computing insanity. But before we hit spacebar, let's be extra mean to the Mac and disable FCP's background rendering because I see you dotted lines. I made sure to purge any cached previews as well, and it plays smoothly. But then I stopped right there, because I had a feeling we were on the better performance setting. Sure enough, we were, so we're now turning it up to better quality to see if the M1 Ultra can still hold its ground. And the legend is true. 18 streams of 8K ProRes at once, and mind you, this is all happening while I am screen recording in macOS. You can certainly feel all those streams taking a toll on the system, like yeah, scrubbing the timeline is nowhere near as responsive as like one measly stream of 8K, ha! But pulling up the activity monitors, it is evidence that this is pushing the M1 Ultra's CPU and GPU very hard. 18 streams of 8K ProRes in terms of sheer data requires a ton of bandwidth, and you can see the SSDs are being read at over 4 gigabytes per second. That's plenty fast, but actually quite comfortably within their top speed of 7.4 gigabytes per second. I also thought for sure this would take up all the RAM, but seems like there was still a good amount left to spare. And by the way, I tried exporting this one minute timeline. It took a minute and six seconds, so nearly real time. And that's a quick peek at how insane the M1 Ultra Max Studio is. More to come in my full review.